Well, hello, my YouTube family. Oh, it is Friday, people. Even though I cannot bitch and moan, Monday I didn't go to work, and uh, yesterday was a half a day when they let us out at 2.30. So I really cannot bitch and moan. And today was, you know, pretty like one of these kind of days. So the snow keeps people in, people. And that makes my life very easy. But on the flip side, uh, Monday is probably going to be a bitch because whoever didn't go didn't come throughout the week, oh, is definitely going to make their appearance known on Monday. I will cross that stupid ass bridge when I get to it. I'm not there yet. Okay, I'm still celebrating my Friday, my Friday, okay? It's just that this job is just unadded, it's, I was gonna say unadded stress. It's unnecessary, that's the word I'm looking for unnecessarily stressful like unnecessarily like you get there and you already feel stressed because you're dealing with people and we're not talking about the brightest bulbs people we are talking about some dimly lit bulbs here okay dim on the verge of just blacking out dimly lit bulbs okay not the finest of the bulbs okay you know, not General Electric bulbs. I don't know. These are like store-bought, no-name brand. But you would think it would be no-name brand, the best bulbs. No, it's no-name brand, dimly lit bulbs. So that's what I'm dealing with every day, every single day. With an occasional flicker of a nicely, a nice candlelight. But for the majority of the people, very dim bulbs, indeed. So it gets rather frustrating. Ergo the drink. But I'm not angry. I'm not angry. I, I'm, first of all, I'm thirsty as hell. Oh, and it's so nice and cold. Coke, people. America's drink. What can I say? I'm just feeling really good because it is Friday. It is 10 to 10 to 6. I want to say 10 to 5. 10 to 6. And you know that this weekend will consist of M and R. That is all I have to say about that. I don't have to do any food shopping. At least I don't think I need to pick up anything. Like there are things that I would like to pick up, but I don't need them. So therefore my money will stay in my pocket. I don't need them. Which brings me to this week's Amazon order. Like last week I didn't place an order at all. And I think the week before that I didn't place an order. I think I went two weeks straight without ordering anything from Amazon. That is downright sacrilege, as far as I'm concerned. But, you know, I'm sure, I can't remember what the reasoning is now, but I'm sure I had a good reason for not participating in my Amazon purchasing. So, um, I placed an Amazon order today. But it's things that I need, not really fun things. I'm telling you people. I am, I, I'm not going to say I'm over the eyeshadow situation, but there isn't anything out there that I'm really loving. However, the one that's on my eyes right now, y'all can't miss it. Look at this. Y'all can see it from all the way back there. Is this salted caramel? Oh, there is a shade, the one I am wearing. 
It is called Caramel Apple. It is this one right here. Oh, even though it's more of a orangey tone, I'm behind glasses. So people can't really tell whether it's a red or an orange. So I wore it anyway because I really, really wanted to wear it. This one right here. Look at that shimmer, which really doesn't show up on the eyes. But it's just a, this is a beautiful palette. Okay, I'm just, let me just say right off the bat. This salted caramel little mini Too Faced. What? It is gorgeous. It is just priceless. It is just priceless. And of course, I need to get to the golden sugar. This is the golden sugar right here. This shimmer right here. What? Oh, I, I, I have to find something to wear with that. This entire palette is gorge. Just, I love this palette. I just, I'm so glad I bought it. I'm just so glad I bought it. Salted Caramel. It's such a cute little packaging, too. Love it. Love it. But, you know, like I'm saying, there's nothing else out there. Nothing new, at least as far as I'm concerned, that is grabbing me and saying, you have to buy this one. I got my Salted Caramel, and I've got my, um, what's the other one? The, the, the. Wasn't that one a Too Faced one too? Y'all know the one I'm talking about. What was that one? Hold on. I put it away somewhere. This one. Between this and this little salted caramel one right here, this one and this one, I'm good. With all the other ones that I've got, I am good. Trust and believe, I am good. So. And I have, like, there are um, palettes sitting out front, out, because there's no place, there's no room to put them in the drawer. So, you know, I'm surrounded by all the ones that I really wanted to buy. And I'm very, 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 very happy. And I don't think I need any more. Uh, notice I say I don't think I need any more. There just isn't one palette that's grabbed me. I, like I said, I'm a neutrals gal, as you can tell. Um, I'm trying. Like, I really stare at the palettes that have a lot of color to them. Like, I'll buy singles. You know, single eyeshadow singles of a color that interests me. But I won't buy a colorful palette. Does that make any sort of sense? Like, okay. For instance, yeah, I'll get to Lips of the Day in a minute. I know, I know this is a Lips of the Day channel, but I am talking about my eyeshadows right now because I'm obsessing a little bit. These two, actually these three, this one, this Twilight one, this Aromas one, and this other Twilight's one, which is not the same as the first Twilight's one that I just showed, are about as quote unquote colorful is I'm going to get. They have blacks. They have, uh, the, the aromas one is kind of like a springy neutrals palette. And the other two are very colorful. I think all three, if I'm not mistaken, are dupes for I have it's right at the tip of my tongue. Um, not BH Cosmetics. They're dupes for something else. Not Urban Decay. Are they Urban Decay? Dupes for Urban Decay palettes? Could be. I'm not sure. But anyway, like I said, there is nothing out there that I really want. Like, I want to want something, but there's nothing out there that I want. And I'm not just going to buy something just to, ooh, okay, I just bought a colorful palette and did not really use it. Like, I'm using these. 
These are the ones that I am using. I'm using these. I'm using my Revolution palettes. What? My Revolution palettes. I use them. I don't think I've used this one yet. No, I did. Yes, I did. I used the bottom one. This one, this rose goldy one called Provocative. Oh, this palette. This one is called Foil Frenzy. Because it's all foily. And this one with the blues and the greens is called Deep Dive. Love. 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 Just. Okay, so let's go to lips of the day. Since this is what my channel is all about. Lips of the day and more. And I seem to be talking about the more than the lips of the day. So lips of the day would have been, I'll put that back, would have been a Color Sensational, Maybelline Color Sensational lipstick, matte, in 690 Siren in Scarlet, which I have worn before. 690 Siren in Scarlet. It is a matte. Oh boy, is it a matte. Let us put it on. I have my, my lips are prepped with some Carmex. So hopefully, hopefully. Diving right in, people. And there we go. There we go. Siren in Scarlet. Yes, yes, nice and creamy. It's creamy, but it's a matte because there's no shine to this whatsoever. Like, not really. But it's nice and creamy. It's a creamy matte. Lovey. So there you go, people. There you go. There is something that is kind of like me wanty only because I need, you know, you need to change your mascaras. They say you're supposed to change them, what, every three months? I don't, I go, I, I use my mascaras for years until it's like, okay, you really need to change these mascaras. And I'm at that point. So if I get one or two new mascaras, I'd really like to, I have two new ones, but they're like replacement of the ones that I've had before. New mascaras, people. Is there anybody out there that, that loves lengthening and volume at the same time? Hello, that's me. More lengthening, though, than volume. But if I can take one that gives both, I'm all for it. The one I'm using right now, the one that's on my eyelashes right now, I don't know if you can tell how long they are. There is the NARS Climax. It's a mini. Love it. Um, but I need I need some mascaras. That is what I'm I'm in shopping mode for. I need some new mascaras. Uh, there's a new one out called CoverGirl Clean Lash Blast or something like that. I don't know. It doesn't look any different than the regular Lash Blast CoverGirl mascaras. Like, what's the difference? Only the packaging changed. The brush is basically the same. Did they change the formula? What's the problem? I don't want... Mm. And I'm not really a big Lash Blast person to begin with. Like, I was never really fond of the original Lash Blast it's called Lash Blast, right? Lash Blast Mascara. Mm. Um, the mascaras that I really do love, I will tell you in a minute. Uh, where are they? Where are they? Where are they? 
are they? Are the essence, I think they're essence. Yes. These, these mascaras are the business. These two. There's one that has like a curvy S brush. I'm not fond. Do I, do I have that one? No, this one is curved, but it's not the curvy one that I'm talking about. Or is it? Either way, I think I have to replace these because these are drying out somewhat. This is a regular brush. But I have to, to replace these. But these mascaras, these essence mascaras, even this one, volume stylist, curl and hold, what? are the business. So I definitely need to replace these for sure but are there anything oh and this one oh wait a minute wait just a moment this l'oreal one right here l'oreal what is it unlimited mascara what? this is awesome this one is awesome this is my brand new one because the other one it broke off but this is my brand new one. So, yeah, this is a L'Oreal one. I needed to get a new one of these. And I have to replace those Essence ones. So, if there's anybody else out there who has a mascara love fetish, whatever, for super lengthening mascaras, um, you know, like I obviously, like you can see, I wear glasses. So, you know, I, I, I don't get crazy with the whole eye thing, as you can tell. I used to wear eyeliner, but I'm afraid my eyeliner is going to cover my eyeshadow, which is why I don't really wear my eyeliner anymore. But I think I should go back to wearing my eyeliner. Anyway, um, I just need a mascara that'll like fan out and full and volumize and lengthen all of that full lengthening and volume all at the same time so if anybody has a mascara that does all three hit me up below what's your favorite mascara okay let me know um so that is probably what i'm shopping for right now i mean it's not like on the top of my list like when i go crazy for a lipstick or i go nuts for an uh, eyeshadow but i do know that i need to replace the mascaras because you know you're really supposed to replace them every three months who's got the time and who pays attention to oh it's three months now i should replace i don't pay attention to all of that i just know that sometimes when they dry out like these essence ones that i just showed you they're sort of semi-drying out. Then I know, okay, it's time to replace. So, and I don't buy them in bulk. I just buy, you know, like one mascara here, another mascara there. Yeah. I'm not a big, huge mascara person, but I have a good collection, you know, that, that satisfies me. So, those of you that are mascara fiends out there, let me know what your favorites are. Hopefully, they're not on the expensive side because you know me. I'm a drugstore chick. Amazon chick, mostly. But drugstore slash Amazon. I don't, I don't do the super... I don't need like a $25 mascara, a $35 mascara. No. It's mascara. I'm not spending my, my hard-earned coins on one mascara for like $40. No. So let me know what you guys are wearing on your eyelashes. Okay. It is time for me to go. I am in a good mood. As you can tell, I would love to remain in this good mood all weekends long. It would be lovely. Um, I don't know if there's more snow heading our way. God, I, I, at this point, I really hope not. There's some flakes falling now, but they're just, they're just melting. They're just, you know, I don't think it's going to accumulate to anything because, first of all, I parked in the driveway. It can't accumulate to nothing because then I'm stuck there. 
So I pretty much know that nothing dangerous is going to happen over the weekend, which is a good thing. Other than that, I really don't think I'm doing anything this weekend, which is, again, another good thing because I can sit my fat ass in the living room and I can watch my Chicago PD marathon and go to sleep and do my normal, <laughs> my normal Saturday routine other than if I'm going food shopping or not, which, I, like I said, I'm stopped from shopping of two weeks ago. I'm still stopped. So I don't think I need anything right now. I am good. I am golden. Um, other than that, well, I should get my hair done. But I, I have food shopping money, but I don't have hair money. Two different things. Food shopping is obviously a lot less than hair. Okay, um, and it is about that time, man, C, to get the hair done, so, okay, yeah, it, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's really, <sighs> so, I don't have the money for that right now. So that's going to, again, take another back seat. So you'll be seeing the headbands again uh, next week. Okay. You'll know when I get the hair done. When you see it done, then you'll know that I got it done. Okay. So that's that with that upon that. Maxing and relaxing begin now. Um... I am going to change into my comfy cozies. I'm going to watch some YouTube videos. Then later on, I'm going to watch The Blacklist, which is at 8 o'clock. I think it's Jump the Shark. Whoever watches The Blacklist, let me know. Because personally, I think they jump the shark. And I'm losing interest. Like, it started out great, but it's been on for what? Six or seven seasons now? It's kind of sort of jumping the shark a little bit. As much as I love me some James Spader, honey. James Spader and I grew up together. Not in that sense. But he was an 80s actor. And I am an 80s... I'm not going to say an 80s baby. I'm a 60s baby. But I'm an 80s... That's my. That was my time. That He's, he's of my time. And... um. God, he was fine and sexy as hell when he was uh, back in the 80s. When he had a head of hair on him, he bald as hell now. But um, he had shoulder length, soft, feathered hair, and he was looking good. Okay, let me just say that. But he would always play that spoiled rich boy. He was very good at it, too. Um, and the character that he's playing now, Reddington, in The Blacklist, is, I guess you would say, the older version of the rich boy that he used to play in the 80s. But he's he's quite different. Anyway, um, I'm going to watch The Blacklist. And then after that, I'm going to hit up and sleep on uh, the Chicago PD Marathon that I've got. Because right after The Blacklist, that's because usually while I'm watching The Blacklist is when I'm eating dinner. So, you know, after the blacklist, I kind of sit back. My stomach is full, and that's when I do one of these. And I think I'm watching television, but that little thing that you just saw could be like an hour went by, and then I realized, oh, I'm supposed to be watching something. I, I crack up at myself sometimes. I really do. Because I will, I will have the utmost intent of watching something. And next thing you know, it's something else. And I'm like, oh, did I sleep through that whole thing? Yes, you did, Nancy. But it's Friday night, people. That's the best part. It is Friday night. I am maxing and relaxing. So much so that you sleeping in the sleeping on the sofa in the living room. 
What I really like to do, I think I've explained this to you before. On Fridays, I like to stay up, wait until my father comes home from work. Like I can hear him coming home. And as soon as I hear him coming home, then I then I take my fat ass to bed. Because it's like, okay, everything is right with the world. He's home. I'm home. Tom is safe. Everything is copacetic. But sometimes I don't even make it. Like these past two Fridays, I have hit the hay before my father came home. But the first thing I do when I wake up is look outside to see if his Jeep is there. And it is. And I'm like, okay, he's good. I have become the parent. When did that happen? Okay. Enough, enough, enough. It is time to go. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. Let me know if anybody has that salted caramel. I'll put it away. Oh, here we go. Let me know if anybody has this. And what's your favorite shade? And uh, what's your favorite palette? And, you know, fill me in. Fill me in. Let's, let's do a little jibber jabber. And I will talk to you on Monday. Okay? I hope to talk to you on Monday. And uh, that's just that with that upon that. I love you. Bye now.